In this unit circle survival guide, we'll use the Sark method to calculate an exact value, tangent 2 pi over 3. So here's our method outline, and we're finding the tangent of 2 pi over 3. And so let's jump in. Remember, Sark helps you remember the order of the steps. S, sketch the angle. A, for ASTC and deciding the sign. R, for reference triangle and coordinates and C for calculate. So we fir start first by sketching the angle, which is 2 pi over 3. So we know here's 0, here's pi. Let's rewrite pi as 3 pi over 3. So we're dividing a half circle's rotation into pi over 3 to help visualize this better. So 1 pi over 3 and then 2 pi over 3 must fall here in the second quadrant. Here's our angle, 2 pi over 3. Okay, so now that we have that, we can move on to step two where we decide the sign of our exact value using ASTC. And that's simply the acronym that tells us which trig function is positive in each quadrant. So they're all positive in the first, sine and its reciprocal cosecant in the second, tangent and its reciprocal cotangent in the third, cosine and its reciprocal secant in the fourth. So since we're in the second, sine and cosecant will be positive and all others will be negative. Since we're finding tangent, we know our exact value, tangent of 2 pi over 3, must be negative. Let's go ahead and mark that in our final answer and in our template. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the reference triangle and finding out the coordinates. So a reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from your terminal side of your angle to the x-axis. So that's this here. So if we've already rot rotated 2 pi over 3 for our angle, to get to pi or 3 pi over 3 must just be 1 pi over 3, or 60 degrees. So we'll sketch that triangle here, our 60, 30, 90, special right triangle. All right, and we've learned those relationships. Um, we know our first quadrant well, so we know the short leg must be our shorter coordinate, 1 half, and our long leg must be root 3 over 2, our y coordinate. All right, so now that we have our coordinates from our reference triangle, we are ready for our final step where we calculate. Now for our unit circle trig ratio, we know that the tangent of our angle is going to be y over x. So our y coordinate is square root of 3 over 2. And we are dividing by x. So if we're dividing by 1 half, that's actually the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, or 2 over 1. And so we can see the 2's cross cancel, reduce to 1's, and our tangent of our angle, 2 pi over 3, must be a value of root 3. We already know it's negative from step 2, so our final answer for tangent of 2 pi over 3 must be negative square root of 3. Check the video description for links to more examples like this with the Sark method, and thanks for watching.